Hi everyone, I'm so about week 42 um, and this was a very busy week. I had loads of photos this week compared to the previous week. Um, so yeah, I had um, quite a few things to put in, which was um, good. So, and this is the start of my Halloween um, collections as well. Um, so that's always fun. So the first photo is going to go at the top um, is a picture of Joe and I. So on the Sunday I was working, but um, Joe was off and I... I I put in for overtime. I was basically thinking that Joe was working. So I was like, oh, I might as well work Sunday um, because he was working. So I put in for overtime and then he was like, no, I'm off. So then it felt like we needed to do something. Like um, once I finished work, um, we went out for a walk and I said to Joe, I'd like to go for a nice walk together. But he took me on like a two hour walk. <laughs> and I said, like, I don't really want to be out all day um, because I had other things to do. I just thought we'd go for a nice little stroll um, somewhere a bit different. But we ended up going um, like 15, 20 minutes down the road driving and then walking for two hours. So, um, yeah, it was a long one. But I also middle of it I had to try and book some Japanese trains as well which was stressful because it was in the middle of the woods and I had no signal so that managed to work after a while um but yeah it was just a it was a nice time to go for a walk obviously the leaves are changing and stuff so and it was quite chilly obviously you can see that I've got a hat on and stuff so the weather is definitely changing um so yeah I'm going to put that uh, photo in there I'm going to use some of these um stickers so this is the Halloween magic from Echo Park and I think this is a 2020 collection it could be 2021 but I'm 70% sure it's 2020 so it's quite an older collection um, and that's what I wanted to use I wanted to use the older ones um, before I use all my new ones I've got loads of really cool new ones that I want to use but I'm just trying to you know use up some of my older ones um, just this year I think I'm next year I think I'm going to change the theme and you know use new things um, but I just don't want to forget about all these collections. They're still lovely and I still absolutely love them. It's just because when you buy something new, you feel like all the old stuff is old, basically, which is not the case. You know, I am I never chuck out anything. And I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I don't, I buy things because I like them and then I don't want to sort of get rid of them. I will use them. Um, so, um, you know, I don't want to get, you know, get rid of anything and I don't want to ignore my older stuff. So that's why I'm trying to use some of the older stuff. Anyway, so I'm just going to print um, some more stamps um, whilst I'm here because I wanted to include some writing, obviously, but there is absolutely no journal cards in this collection whatsoever. And there's no space to journal on anywhere. So um, I've decided I was going to stamp some more label stickers. So I'm going to put that Happy Halloween um, 6x4 card in there and that's going to be my title. I'm going to have to later figure out how to put the week numbers on um, because obviously there's not much space, but um, i come to that later. The photo that's going to go down in the middle section um, is a picture of all the animals. So the cats were on the bed um, downstairs in our spare bedroom and Charlie was on the floor and I whether it's because Charlie doesn't actually know that they're there <laughs> um, because he is blind and deaf I don't know but um they all seem to get on like every so often Charlie might growl at them if they get a bit close but um we don't have any arguments or anything which is quite nice so I actually sent that photo to the family group um to say that I had company whilst I was working um because they're all in with me um whilst I was working from home so that was quite a cute little photo and I put that um scary squad um sticker on there then we went to go see our friends on the wednesday um and we went to our favorite restaurant our favorite indian restaurant um down the road and um my grandma actually bought um their little boy a little pack of toys um and we gave them to him and his little mind was just blown he looked so excited he's he, he didn't know what to do his eyes were so wide and um he was like just in shock of all these toys that he had so she bought him like some trucks um and some playing cards and um little like you know little toys and bits and pieces so he would absolutely loved it so this is a picture of him with his truck um which was adorable so it's a bit hefty though we were a bit worried he was gonna sort of throw it um and hurt someone but he absolutely loved it because you can also put like a little toy in the in the back of it and stuff like that so yeah he just absolutely loved it so i just included some uh, little stickers on there and then the other six by four photo i actually asked for a photo this time and got a picture of us there because we never get pictures we always we always go to this restaurant we go at least sort of i don't know once every three months or something and um we've got some pictures of the their little boy leo like growing up and things and i just thought it was quite nice to include 
um, you know, all these different photos of him growing and things. So, um, yeah, we actually got a photo together, which was nice. The lighting was awful. And um, the the background, you know, so the wallpaper was like this sort of like a, a brownie sort of gold colour. Um, so that didn't help the lighting, but it's a photo nonetheless of all of us. So I'm just going to put some stickers at the top, um, including some of the larger ones, because you can see on this sticker sheet, they're, they're really big photos, uh, really big stickers. Um, so it's quite hard to use on the um especially on three by four photos because they're just so big um but um i'm trying and i'm trying to use up as much as i can when you sort of start running out of cut parts you can use them as you know cards so you can just use like a nice pretty paper the background and then stick a larger sticker on there um but i still have plenty of cards left i don't think i've used much of this collection at all um i'm trying to think when i last used it to be fair and um it just seems i have loads of cut parts so um still got a while to go before um i use it up but um, making up a little dent in it, at least, by using it for this week. So I was going to use that castle um, 6x4 card, but then I decided to use that one. It says, ghouls just want to have fun, because obviously we were meeting up with friends and things, so I thought that was quite cute. Um, and then I'm going to use that got candy one, and then this is a little one that says, there is magic in the night, etc. I was going to use that, but I decided to use that on the other side. Um, and then I picked this orange one, just because... It sort of, I don't know, picked out all the colours really. There was purple and orange and black and white and all this. I didn't want it to be too white um, or, you know, all the same colour. So I thought I would um, use those ones. Um, but yeah, I really, I really liked how this came out. At first I was a bit unsure because this collection, as much as it's cute, it's not my favourite. Um, I think it's a bit sort of it's too much white I think that's it it's too much white on it um I would have liked it if they sort of made the colors the background a little bit darker maybe like a gray or something like that or a green um it's just a bit white for me um but I like how I've sort of done it um I've tried not to include too many white cards all in one layout so it doesn't look too bright um but yeah I really like actually how it's came out so for the um, title, I want to use that bit at the top of the page where there's obviously like a black section. Um, but in order, I couldn't stamp on there. I was going to get my white stamps, but I didn't think there was enough space to stamp the white on there without it sort of moulding into the, the, the main white bit. Um, so I actually use my alphas, but I use, um, instead of black ink, I could have used black, I don't know why I didn't really, to be fair. But I decided to use my olive green colour um, and stamp the week, week 42 at the top there on some white paper um, and then cut that out and um, stuck at the top. And I like, I like how it came out. It, it's it's obvious that you can read the week and, you know, it's not, um, it doesn't look a bit lost or anything like that. Like it actually looks quite nice um, with how it came out. So it's quite nice to use the olive green. The only thing I noticed is that I would have, I do want an orange. I'd like an orange stays on ink. So that'd be the next um, sort of investment when I'm next doing an order from somewhere, I'm going to try and have a look for some orange stays on ink um, to go with my collection. Because I think I've got, an, I've got green, I've got brown, I've got red, blue. Um, but yeah, I've not got any orange. So yeah, orange. I could have done that. I could have done with that actually before doing my Romania album, to be honest. Um, but it's um, it's fine. I haven't got round to doing the stamping yet for Romania. I've got some bits and pieces to do. Um, I want to do all the journaling. I want to do the stamping. And there's some little random little sequin stickers that I want to stick in. And also some spray staining as well. So just some random little bits to do, but nothing major. And then I should have that completed scrapbook up hopefully before I go to Japan. Um, depending on how I'm going to upload these, this might be up whilst I'm in Japan. I'm really not sure how I'm uploading things at the moment. Um, I definitely will not have enough photos to upload whilst I'm in Japan. Um, so there will be a gap, but you'll, I'll tell you when I'm not going to be uploading for a while. So don't panic if you don't hear from me for a couple of weeks. Um, not that you would <laughs> just I think because I upload so often that maybe people would notice um but I will have a bit of a gap because as I said I won't have any I, you know I've run out of videos as such um whilst we're away th for a month um and then when we get back obviously I've got some catching up to do and you know actually do things in order to make some videos I will be quite behind on my project life when I come back um I'll be about three or four weeks behind so I'm gonna try and do as much as I can um when we get back obviously it'll all be about japan so that's quite that's quite fun to be able to scrapbook 
about Japan. Um, but then we come into December and then, you know, that's when it gets busy. And I'm really keen to get my project life finished by the end of the year, really. Um, I don't like it carrying on into the next year. And so far, I've done pretty well with that. I've not had to do that. So I'm hoping this year is the same and I can keep on track with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this part and I'll be back soon.